So welcome back to another FIFA 21 career mode topic video. Today we are talking about the things we wished were in career mode this year. Now, we had our full career mode reveal a couple weeks ago. We got the final details of what features are going to be in the game and stuff. And a lot of people said it was a good step in the right direction, but it wasn't the complete package. There was a lot of things EA needed to add this year to make crew mode great again. So based on what I know, plus your feedback, I'm going to be talking about the things we wished were in FIFA 21 career mode. This is going to be part one. And if you do agree with any feature that I mentioned today, make sure you leave a like for me. To get all the latest FIFA 21 news and content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to get to 200,000 by the end of the year, so please help me out by subscribing today. Now, obviously, FIFA crew mode needs a lot of bug fixes. I mean, take a look at the news tiles, all that kind of stuff. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but I don't want to talk about fixes. You guys want to see the new features that I would suggest, and uh, I think this is what a lot of people would have loved to see. Obviously, we can't expect EA to have the complete package in one FIFA game. This is something that they have to build towards. We're probably 10 years behind other sports games and their career modes, but my job today is to provide EA with ideas for the future. And I'm not going to go through each one, you know, like a big in-depth analysis. I'm just going to touch over a few different things, give my opinions on them, because there's a lot to cover here. So the first one has to be create a club, and uh, that would be a totally new feature in career mode. I think the last time we had that was in like FIFA 07 or something. It was back in the PS2 days, and you could actually create the team, create the logo, create players for the team, put them in a league, and then you can basically use them in career mode. I think it would be pretty cool to be able to design your own kits and the stadium and basically take your club from the bottom to the top and win different trophies and stuff. I think that's the next logical step for EA for career mode. So I think it's pretty safe to say that when everyone saw the foot stadium feature in that trailer, we all wanted it in career mode. Unfortunately, EA did not deliver that to us this year. It could come in a future FIFA title, and I think it should. And obviously this would work well with generic stadiums and if they ever introduced a creative club feature as well. But pretty much, we want the ability to have a stadium, but upgrade it as the years progress in your save. And then another feature we would love to see is a kit creator option. Everyone gets sick of looking at the same kit for 15 years in a save. But the problem is, I don't think this could work with licensed clubs. I'm not 100% sure on that though, but definitely this feature would work if they ever implemented a create a club thing. So if they ever did a create a club, it would be a really cool thing. You could have stadium upgrades, kit creators, club badges, all that kind of stuff, and you wouldn't have to worry about licensing with that sort of thing. Another area in crew mode that needs a bit of improving is Youth Academy. So pretty much with the Youth Academy, you can scout your players and then you sign the best ones. And uh, basically, they either sit on your bench or you send them out on loan, and then maybe you use them in a couple of years' time. But while I'm not the biggest Youth Academy user out there, I think it would be pretty cool to have like a Youth League or something in the game where a manager reports to you like players that are looking good and stuff, and maybe you can sign them and promote them to the first team like that. I don't really know how they would do it, but they need to upgrade it a bit because right now it's just scout them and then keep them in your squad or send them out on loan. There's not much you can do with it and having like a youth league or something would be pretty nice. Another thing that EA took out in crew mode was staff members. Now, back in the day, we used to have many staff members for different uh, positions. So you could have an attacking coach, defensive coach, but some other useful people was the stadium manager, the negotiator, also the medical guy as well, which could heal your players a bit faster and help them recover quicker. So... Other games like NBA 2K have staff members like head scouts and stuff. I mean, we sort of got scouts in the game, but EA could do a lot more with staff members. And uh, pretty much in career mode, you don't really feel like you've got anyone around you besides the scouts. So it would be nice to have like a medical assistant and stuff that can help you as well. And of course, it gives you something to upgrade as well with your money and something to work towards. Now, something that I like from Pez is the amount of cutscenes they threw into Master League this year. And, of course, once you see them once, you've seen them all the time because they don't really have any varieties. But in FIFA, we don't have any cutscenes besides the news tiles. So, in Pez, you could get cutscenes for trophies. You can also get cutscenes for signing a player who comes to your training ground and stuff. On your first day at work, you also walk in and meet some players. You don't get that in FIFA. So Pez does offer a lot of different cutscenes, walking around backstage areas and stuff. In FIFA, there is pretty much nothing besides the press conferences and the transfer negotiations. Now in Pez as well, there's Derby Day build-ups where you can get cutscenes at the training ground talking about the upcoming Derby in two or three weeks' time. In FIFA, you don't really know there's a Derby until you check the calendar and then you see, oh yeah, I've got a Derby coming up. So yeah, they need to work on that as well. And they also need to throw in a cutscene for the Best Player in Europe award because that trophy I don't think is in crew mode at the moment. 
Next up, I'm going to talk about two old school features. The first one is sponsors. It would be nice to be able to pick different sponsors for your club and get revenue and also bonuses for achieving their objectives. And in FIFA, we used to have it, but right now, nothing. And uh, it would be nice if they could bring the sponsors back. Now, when it comes to kit customization, a lot of people want to be able to edit the kits, but I don't know if that's possible with licensed kits that EA pays for. But what about if we could actually change the kits based on just like alternating the shorts, alternating the jerseys, and have different licensed jerseys available like you can do in Madden. So in Madden, if you want to wear like a 2000s jersey, you can do that. And you can also set it up with away shorts and maybe alternate socks. There's different varieties there, as you can see on the screen. I mean, it's all licensed stuff, I believe. So we can do that with FIFA. They just need to add more variety for a lot of kits. I know a lot of people would love to be able to change the kits because they get sick of looking at the same setup for so many seasons in career mode. Now imagine being able to download and apply user created rosters in career mode. So basically if you want to use like an Invincibles team, someone would create it, upload it to the cloud, and someone can download it and use it in career mode. This is what you can do in NBA 2K. So let's say you wanted an NBA 1995-96 season with the Chicago Bulls. You just watched the last dance, you want to be able to use them, and you can do that with NBA 2K20. You just add them into the league using that roster, and the rest of the league will also match that season because the person creates like all the players and stuff. So let's say you wanted to recreate an invincible season for Arsenal. You can play with the players there. As you can see with this, we've got Jordan, Pippen, Rodman as well. You name it, they're there, and this would be nice in crew mode as well. Imagine the storylines you could do and the challenges you could do as well with it. Now, another thing I'd love to see in crew mode is a start today feature where you can play with your favorite team as you continue the season from today's date using real stats, standings, and injuries. So let's say we're up to 32 matches in real life in the Premier League and Manchester United are coming fifth. You want to do a Man United crew mode, and in FIFA, you don't have the ability to actually start on the current day. You have to start from zero and then work your way up. But imagine if you could press start today and it loads up all the stats there as you can see it on the table and you can try and get that top four spot. I think that would open up crew mode a bit more as well. How does EA take player conversations to the next level? Well, they make it into an actual cutscene with the player. So this is NBA 2K. You can see uh, Anthony Davis there telling me something. I'm responding as well. And this would obviously turn player conversations from just text based into actual cutscene based. Uh, stuff so this would be really nice to see for the future of player conversations also I'd probably throw in the squad ranking feature once again just to see who's the best players in your team and stuff I, I always used to look at that so I think it was pretty cool and then also I'd bring back the inquire feature because right now through the game through transfers and stuff you don't really know the player's value unless you scout them for 20 days and stuff sometimes that is annoying sometimes you don't even have time to scout the player so people just go and so fever check the stats if they had an inquire feature, it would be nice because the club would tell you whether they want to sell the player and also how much they want to sell him for. So you don't have to scout him to get that value detail. Another thing that needed to be in FIFA 21 crew mode was face updates that get put into the game through the title updates working in existing crew mode saves. Now this is something that would definitely help those crew mode people out because when you play crew mode at the moment, there's never a right time to start a new save because there's always a new title update around the corner bringing in a new face or something for like the first four or five months of the game cycle. So up until like November, December sometimes as well, you will see new faces in the game. Pez has a system where the faces get updated automatically. You don't need to start a new save in that. And I would like EA to do the same. So like I said earlier, this is part one, which means there's going to be a part two coming soon, which has more things that I did not cover today. But if you want to contribute, make sure you leave a comment on something you wanted in FIFA 21 career mode. In the meantime, if you need something else to watch, please check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.